My name is Stefan and I'm a photojournalist for KSBY News Channel 6. I bring credibility, integrity, and a sense of urgency when it comes to journalism. I start my day off early so we can give you the information you need all day long. There's a series of new paintings that are activated with UV light, so when you come to the museum you'll get a flashlight and, um, and you'll be able to engage in the works in these different ways and see different layers and um, layers of the work that way. So we have I would say about 12 or so cats that we brought down, about four rabbits, six ducklings, two guinea pigs, and, um, and so it would be our goal to get everybody homes today. A little over 90% of most of the car seats that we see come into our events or come into our offices when we do our checks have some sort of issue with them that could be detrimental, could be dangerous. So. What we like to do is bring these parents in and, and caregivers in and, and educate them and show them, not, not show them what they've done wrong necessarily, but educate them and show them what they can do better on their seats. By bringing you compelling coverage of local news stories from north of North County to south of Santa Barbara, knowledgeable with Premiere Pro and Audition, my skills in editing video ranges from color grading, sound design, and mixing. Begin this evening with a fire watch. Crews are cleaning up after a fire broke out in San Luis Obispo earlier today along the Cuesta grade. A man is in custody tonight after an hours long standoff with police in Pismo Beach. The Pismo Beach Police Department got a call shortly before 10 this morning about a reported burglary and assault at the apartments just above the cave landing shop. Emergency services responded to a vehicle rollover crash near Napomo today around 3 p.m. Highway 101 southbound traffic was moved to one lane starting from Los Barros to Teff Street. Officials say a child was involved, but the extent of injuries is unknown. What drives me more is making connections with the community and being able to tell a story through the lens and connecting people to stories that matter to them. 